Hi everyone, this is Princess. I'm so happy to, to talk to you again today. Uh, for those who do not know me, you're welcome to my channel. Uh, here I talk about hair, I talk about um, how to train children the Christian way because I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a sister, and I also do business. But today I'll be focusing more on hair. I also do music, I love to sing, and I'm learning to play the piano. And I also show how I, I'm helping my daughter to learn the violin just because it helps children to have other things in their life. Today I'm focusing on hair. And this is me here taking care of the hair of a friend. So she had kept her hair in a long, long time without um, braiding or twisting it. And she wants me to twist it. She felt that it was uh, not well taken care of. And she, she, she was um, pregnant here and felt that for some reason she didn't have um, the time or the strength to take care of her hair. So she came to me to help her to um make her hair um but usually as i always do i love to start with finger detangling just because i have tried with tools in the past when i didn't know how to take care of my hair i'll use tools run it through my hair have those blockages or you know tugging difficulty but i will you know pull at it and pull at it and pull at it and what happened was that usually uh, my hair would break a lot especially when i was pregnant for my son i remember i lost a lot of hair because i was no longer patient with myself and so i'll pull at my hair and i lost a lot of hair so i that's what took me into her trying to learn and understand the fussy hair how to take care of it better and so that uh, making of my hair washing detangling is no longer a pain but something that I do for fun. I do it while watching a movie, uh, listening to a message, uh, even in, in a prayer mode. Different other things that I do to keep me not too focused on the hair that I'm making. So, of course, not that I would always rather make my hair when I know that I have enough time. I never make my hair if I'm in a hurry. Just because you'd be so impatient and I'll find myself you know breaking my hair because I wouldn't be patient enough with my hair to untangle to detangle you know to take out all the knots and and <coughs> moisturize my head right way I want to in her case here she came and wanted me to twist her hair uh, so I started with finger detangling that she had seen me do before and then I went ahead to moisturize the hair. While I'm finger detangling the hair, I always, always don't forget to use my water and oil. This helps the hair to become soft and manageable. And afterwards, after finger detangling, I can use a comb. Or sometimes, when I, if I feel through my hair and I feel that the finger detangling process has done away with all the knots I go ahead and I start twisting what does this mean this simply means that only with finger detangling you can have a perfectly brushed hair that can go into a style so um, finger detangling is something that if you've not incorporated in your hair journey you should think about doing it it's very uh, helpful in maintaining your growth the growth that you've you've suffered to get or you've you, you've um, tried to get in keeping your hair in in twist or in protective styles you can either lose that growth or you can you know maintain your growth if you do your hair the right way if you um, brush your hair the right way if you um, you know unravel your hair the right way and you you treat your hair the right way you'd see that your hair will grow better okay of course we're not after um, length only but we're mainly after health the health of a person's hair is very important if your hair is not healthy uh, you'd have a kind of stunted growth or the way your hair will grow will not be right you'd have a lot of undergrowth and you'll notice that uh, some part of your hair will be longer than the other part of your hair that's why you need to be careful with how you uh, detangle your hair 
and I want to add that uh, through my journey as a mother and having a young child I have learned to love my hair because I have a little child that is watching me that is seeing uh, how I take care of my hair how I love my hair and the positive words that I say about my hair and this could either help her to love her hair accept herself the way she is a beautiful creature made by God and of course God knows that everything that he's done is perfect about us even our hair even the four C-ness of our hair God appreciates it God loves it like that God looked at it and he said this is good and for my daughter I am an example to her she watches me uh, she sometimes she's complained before because she's had friends who are from the East African uh, background and she sees that their hair is is better managed or maybe looks silkier than hers and she's asked me many times but why is my hair not like hers because she is um, a brown girl like me but our hairs are not the same I've tried to understand to make her understand my little daughter my seven-year-old little daughter that her hair is beautiful and that her hair is just like her mother's hair her friend's hair is just like her friend's mother's hair <laughs> because uh, a tree uh, an apple tree can never have an orange right so I told her you know you see how mommy is you're just mini me you're just like mommy and we love our head the way it is we take care of it it's beautiful it can make different styles there are some styles that your your friend's hair cannot make but your hair can make it so when I do that I make my daughter understand that no matter the texture of her hair it's beautiful and she needs to she needs to accept it the way it is so to make her enjoy her hair and like her hair and love her hair i have to learn to use the right tools to do her hair the right way so that she does not associate making of her hair with pain and so those are some of the things that i do finger detangling has helped us a lot i make sure that i put every product that i need to um, make the hair um, manageable and then I go ahead and finger de detangle it after which I decide if I want to use a brush most times with my daughter's hair we use a brush we brush her hair and then we go ahead and try to finger detangle to make sure that every knot is taken out and we will feel that every knot is taken out most times the knots are all gone after we've used the brush so the process is this I spray my daughter's hair after spraying her hair, I put some oil. Sometimes I add some butter. It depends on how long the hair has been in a style and how much knot I feel in the hair. If I feel a lot of knots, I get a lot of butter and I apply it to her hair. There are other things that we that we use and I will be sharing those with you in other videos. But the simple way that we do it is water, olive oil, some butter, finger detangle after we finish finger, finger detangling we get on with a brush not all the time but many times we use the brush and then we go back to check with our fingers with my fingers I go back to check with my fingers to make sure that there is no knots after that I can put her hair in a protective style most times the best protective style that we use together is the twist two strand twist is our friend we don't do too many bantu knots because she unravels them. I don't know how she does it But with the twist she's able to keep them in a long time and the twists are very versatile We can pack them in a ponytail. We can leave them to fly. We can pack them in two ponies We can you know leave some on her on her face We can do many styles with a twist and that's why we like the twist So let me know in the comment section below what you do with your hair. Do you finger detangle? Do you use brushes? Do you use combs? Do you um, do protective styles? And let me know if there are other videos that you'd want us to share with uh, with with you. Uh, so keep in mind that in my in on my channel, I don't really um, bring my daughter's uh, face on here because. Um, um, 
her dad doesn't really want her to be on 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 social media yet he's, he's okay with just seeing her hair because uh the reason why we started to show her hair is because some of our friends want us to show the process of taking care of our hair and since the focus is not on her face but on her hair so most times you wouldn't be seeing her face but you'd see her hair in subsequent videos so if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please do well to subscribe share this video with your friends and join us um, as part of the family let us know in the comment section below if you love love um, these tips that we're bringing here God bless you. Until next time. Bye. Au revoir. À la prochaine. See ya. Thank you.